as you undoubtedly know. Ugh, wait a second. I'm just assuming everyone at the hearing will have security clearance. Well, that's not my concern. Ladies and gentlemen of the panel. Oh dear God, do I really want to sound that pompous. Previously on the Dunny Disaster Hour. Let's see, how could I sum it up? We went down, we lost a world. We lost Alex. And half my team are convinced they're receiving messages from aliens. Yeah, right. That'll convince them to keep the project going. <sighs> so this is where Morgan hangs out? Pity, she isn't here. I just love hearing you two bicker. <laughs> yes, well, she's wrong. According to the latest yada, theories... Yada, yada, yada. If the Dunny really had the power to write their way into another world, there's no way we wouldn't know about it. So, is it true? I beg your pardon? That once seen, the Deep City has you forever in its thrall. At least, that's what I've heard. I've never been down there myself. I'm sorry, where are my manners? Beatrice Lang, UNESCO Special Projects. Gabriel Collins. I thought there was still time. Oh, I haven't come to fetch you. It's true that I'm down for the inquiry, but I'm not actually sitting on the panel. Mr. Masarovsky thought you'd appreciate some support. He did? When I heard your voice, I wondered if there might be someone in here with you. Just me and my insecurities. I was rehearsing my testimony. We've got some time. Let's hear it. It all began... Everyone on the panel knows how it began. These things can sound over-rehearsed. I'm sorry I never got to meet Dr. Jung. According to Zarek, he was one smart cookie. Speaking of his Swedishness, have you heard how they're coping? He's worried about morale. Understandably. <sighs> Even assuming I'm allowed to return, I'm not quite sure what to do about that. Actually, Colonel, I might just have an idea. time we were there, I had this dreadful vertigo. Poor Grace. I beg your pardon? Lieutenant Larson, wasn't it Grace who escorted you down the shaft? <sighs> Don't tell anyone, but she got so tired of me hanging on to her backpack, she threatened to make me walk in front of her wearing a blindfold. <laughs> I don't even want to think about Kalish to Lisa. It's riddled with these torturous paths. Alex tried his best to distract me. Did it work? He sang. Wait a second. All the clues are right here. What do you mean? These panels, they're the clues. The way to Kadish's vault. The Colonel had access to a cheat sheet from the archives, but... Life is like that. Pardon? Clues. They come in pieces. Glimpses of meaning. And just when you're not expecting it, they snap into place and the puzzle is complete. Another catch of books has been found. A neighborhood on the far side of the cavern. <sighs> Look, I've got to see if they've discovered anything useful. Keep your spirits up, Thomas. They must think there's a chance Alex survived because Major Lev went with them. Who? Daniel Lev, the pneumatic. He's a trained counselor. When they get back, perhaps you ought to speak to him. Oh, I couldn't do that. I'm way too depressed.
There you are. I was just thinking about that time in the mountains. Do you remember how it felt? Like we were in another world. And here we are. Literally. Lucas? <laughs> ich wusste es. Knew what? I knew the books were real. Not from the beginning, but at some point they felt they had to tell me. They swore me to secrecy, but that's no excuse for lying to you in the archives. I suppose you hate me now? Oh, Lucas, I'm not sure I could ever really hate you. Although there was that time. Yeah, yeah. Morgan, have you talked to Sarek lately? He needs support. And besides, you owe him. Because I shot him? That was an accident. Well, he's the one who really believes you. I mean, about there being something in the egg. I thought you believed me. I have faith in you, Morgan. But I'm not sure what I believe. Turner? We've covered the whole area, Captain. Absolutely no sign of him, Major Lair. If he had managed to survive. Two of the guys who came down with the retrieval team are from FEMA Search and Rescue. They volunteered to rappel down to the cave when they finished searching down below. It's a long shot, but... Dr. Maxwell did say that the last thing Alex mentioned was those lights. For now, I think we've got all we can. Let's hope it's enough to satisfy the inquiry board. And it looks like Pope has finished scanning the vault. Okay, let's go home. This place is giving me the creeps. I'm coming, Lieutenant. I'll take the data up to Dr. Maxwell. I just had a call from reception. They're sending her up. You're having second thoughts. It feels wrong, using her this way. It is wrong. Until, that is, you remember what's at stake. You do cultivate the Man of Secrets role, don't you? Even here, in this dark cavern, you're wearing those damn sunglasses.
What the? Oh, wait. Is this my file? It's one page of your file, a formal protest I made. But it seemed... Like I said, we needed a cover. scan results, but I couldn't see anything significant. I was there, Henry. There was a tremor, and he fell. Simple as that. <sighs> to be honest, I'm not entirely sure what you expect me to find, but leave it with me. Will do. Say, where does this lead? If I remember correctly from the Rosero schematics, that's a maintenance closet. The door is jammed, and really isn't high on the priority list. Hmm. Where are you guys? I can't even see the boat. Right. Fine. Don't answer. I'll just keep standing here talking to myself. What are you doing? Did you notice this light pattern? It's a spiral. And? Well, spirals are often symbolic of a quest. I don't... Are you still seeing things? What do you mean? When Lucas and I followed you to Kavir, I was sure when we arrived you were seeing something. Something not us, I mean. Remember I tried to tell you about my grandmother, the Jungian therapist? There's a Native American rite of passage. The vision quests. Your point? My point is that the quester is meant to have a vision of something that they can take back to the community. Some piece of knowledge or a revelation of a special talent. The way my grandmother would explain it was... Morgan, when we linked to Mist, the ghost I keep seeing, her family used to live there. She was around during the time the Deer Sea were in the cavern. There are pictures of her in the special projects archives. So she might... Yisha. She's probably a part of your subconscious, Eric, trying to help. I don't see how. And even if that was the reason I keep seeing her... Speak to her. Asking might prompt something you've got locked away in the Zacopedia. Why don't you ask her? Are you saying she's here now? She's over here. Morgan? I'm thinking. Oh, I know. Is there anything you can tell us about the egg? Zarek? Yisha. She... she turned into a paro. Hmm, interesting. What do you think it means? Perhaps the borrow or more of a threat than we thought. Oh. Listen, I don't know if anyone can hear me, but I'm in some kind of cave, and there are creatures here that I am pretty sure are borrow. Listen, Morgan. Obviously, this has to remain between us. I wasn't suggesting you tell anyone about your visions. But if you're somehow picking up clues that the Barrow might pose a danger, don't you think the others should be warned? I don't remember seeing anything specifically in the archives about the Eggstone, so I don't know why I would associate it with the Barrow. Sandy insisted there weren't a problem, and he of all people should know. <sighs> In any case, the colonel already thinks you're crazy. Hey! 
What I mean is that we don't want them to think that all the civilians in the team are losing their grip. Considering how Gabe reacted when I said there was something in the egg, can I at least tell Lucas? It has to be our secret for the moment. But... Please, Morgan. I've gone through the data once, and nothing has leapt out at me. There was a momentary spike during the scan of the vault, but I couldn't make any sense out of it. A apart from that, I've had an idea about something I want to try here. I'd come and give you a hand, but I've got a whole list of other jobs to do. Now, we don't have anyone with the right expertise, but as long as you tell them what to do, I'll ask Pope to send one of the engineers. That would be a great help. Thanks. Captain, fix it out. Who are you? What do you want with me? What do you want with me? Is that truly what you are called? Oh dear, sorry if I startled you. You must be the engineer, but you're not wearing orange. Never mind, Thomas Maxwell, pleased to meet you. Annie Terrett? Annie? Annie Terrett? There was a Lily Terrett at my school. Well, I should put you to work then. Did the lieutenant brief you? Aha, right, of course I meant Captain Culver. Oh, that's all right. I know he's very busy. I'll fill you in on the way, if you'll just follow me. So basically, what we're attempting to do here is cross-check known physics with this new toy. We don't know how things will behave at these high energies, and we need to understand this before we can work on something new. Oh right, I should show you. Like this then. And you just... Ah! Okay. Um... That one over there. <clears throat> Excellent! That's the idea. We'll start with basic particles. Pions, kaons, and protons. And cross-check the results with what we expect at these new energies. And then we can start looking for allions. In other words, the particles that facilitate linking. At least, that's what we're expecting to find. Was there really nothing in the archives about this? There might have been. All I remember is mention of places where people held private conversations, and that most of the neighborhoods seemed to have them. But this is the only one? I haven't been in all of them, but none of the others have a statue quite like this. Are you sensing anything at the moment? Hope? The view never gets old, does it? I'm still a bit overwhelmed by the vastness of it all. You wouldn't believe the assistant Henry sent me. All the engineers I've met have been pretty helpful, but then I don't suppose any of them are nuclear physicists. I miss Alex. Aha! Just the person. Thomas, this is Major Lev. Please, call me Daniel. I'm fine. Glad to hear it, mate. 
I was just showing him the factory. Whatever you're doing, it's working. Yep, we're baking some prime pellets. It's been a lot simpler since we've discovered that shortcut. Is there something we haven't been told? Hmm. You were saying? There's a linking book that takes you right to the place where you drop the pallets into the lake. I know it must feel like the project's in pieces. In the colonel's absence, the major is the senior military officer down here. Oh? We haven't heard anything about the inquiry, but there's no reason to assume the worst. Indeed. As the saying goes, you can't make an omelette without cracking some eggs. My point is, even if we can't risk another writing experiment just yet, we're learning. It's clear Lucas and his team have done great things in Arcana, and I'm confident you'll be able to unlock the Great Zero's potential. We found a few more linking books. Precisely. I'm sure it's only a matter of time before we discover something useful. What about the egg? Egg? It may be too soon to say this, but... I'm hopeful on that front as well. Did he just say egg?